This is me sneaking into the lab at Polaroid when everyone was out for lunch, and I felt that I had about 10 minutes to figure out how all their stuff works. So I started looking through literally everything to try and find anything valuable. What is this? I had no idea what I was actually looking for, but I figured that there had to be something useful somewhere. I was honestly starting to get a bit disappointed when all I found was generic lab equipment, but then right in plain sight, oh my God. I stumbled onto the secret recipe for their instant film. Seriously, this was actually their secret formula, and if I share it, I'm pretty sure that I could go to jail. But anyway, at this point, I probably should have left, but I was also pretty sure that I still had several minutes, and it was the perfect place to test it. I was gonna have to go quickly though, and the first thing that I needed was a beaker or something, but all I could find was this plastic cup thing. Either way, the first ingredient that I needed was some titanium dioxide, and I was able to find a nice big tub of it. So I quickly shot in a large scoop of it, and then I quickly added all of the other ingredients, and I finished it off by shooting in a bunch of water. What I had to do next was blend it all together under an inert atmosphere of argon, and I wasn't exactly sure how to do this. I was able to find this mixer thing though, which looked like it fit, and then I tried just shoving it onto this other thing that looked like a milkshake maker. Surprisingly, it actually sucked onto it, and it kind of just started working on its own. It was kind of going too slow though, so I cranked up the speed. But anyway, what I had now was a bunch of thick blue goo, and according to the recipe, what I had to do next was suck up a bunch of it into a syringe. When I eventually felt that I had a decent amount, I quickly put my phone down, because for this part, I was going to need both hands. What I had to do was carefully screw a needle onto the syringe, and then inject the goo into a little pocket of paper. I wasn't exactly sure how much I had to add, but when I eventually felt that it was a decent amount, I got rid of the syringe, and I sealed it using the heat press. Okay, so now I had a nice and sealed goo pack, and the next thing that I needed was the plastic part that goes on the front of a Polaroid photo. To connect it, I apparently just had to put some tape on it, and at this point, I was pretty close to being done. To actually finish it though, I would unfortunately have to do it all in the dark, and just outside the lab, I had seen something that looked like a dark room. This room was very, very dark. It's so dark in here. But I thankfully found some night vision goggles to help me. I was also able to find a piece of film negative in a random drawer, and I taped it to the other side of the goo pack. What I had now should be some super janky instant film, and to test it out, I just had to expose it. I couldn't find any cameras to put this in, but I found this random machine that the film seemed to fit on. I then cranked the handle on the side, and it didn't show up on the camera, but it did release a small flash of light, and it made a little sound. So now, assuming that it had actually been exposed, the next thing that I had to do was develop it, and I figured that I just had to use this roller machine. All I had to do was feed it through, which should pop the goo pack and smear the developer fluid between the negative and the plastic positive. Now I could finally leave the dark, and I was really happy to see that something was developing. I have no idea what this is, or why it's the standard photo in their machine, but either way, it had clearly worked. I had successfully used their secret recipe and made a photo from scratch, and at this point, I definitely had to get out of there. 